Hey guys, AB with you here, and today I am making a super fast stir fry. I'm only making six meals. Uh, so meal prep you can make for your week that you can do in less than 20 minutes. Uh, and six meals might be enough for you for six nights, or might be three days worth, or whatever you need to do. I'm um, showing you now that you can get um, meals done really fast, 20 minutes. Uh, so no excuses that you can't you don't have time to meal prep. Uh, when you prepare a meal that has six portions, all you need to do is push them up into six and then use them later. So, let's get started. Okay, sweet. So I'm going to show you this in real time. The clock now says 3.40 on the clock. You all see 3.40 on the clock. So we get this all done by 4 o'clock, which will be super easy. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put on our rice. Two cups of rice. Very good. And four cups of water. Heat on high. I'm in the lid. That's gonna be the longest thing to cook. So the longest thing <laughs> that's gonna take the longest to cook. That's what we're getting the rice on first. And the stir fry itself should be prepared fully before the rice is cooked. That's how quick this all should be. Look at that. There's one minute down. Now we've got 19 minutes to go. Uh, this recipe is from our book, right here on page uh, 94, uh, the veggie stir fry. The only thing different from today is I'm going to be adding tofu. I'll uh, get some extra firm tofu here. You can really add any vegetable you like to this dish. The first thing I'm going to do is cook off the tofu. I'm going to cut this up, drain it, uh, pat it dry, and then we're going to get it into the wok. You don't have to have the tofu. You can do it exactly like the book if you like. Put it on a paper towel, and you can just wrap it up. Squash it down a bit, get some of the excess water out. It does soak up a little bit of water, and because this one was actually a little bit broken in the packet, it soaked up a little bit more water than usual. Beautiful. And now the secret to making this um, fast uh, is to be able to cut the vegetables while you're cooking things in the pan. So like multitasking, something that's very important when you're chefing or cooking in the kitchen. If you can multitask, get things done a lot faster, uh, rather than doing one thing at a time. So I'm actually going to turn the heat on my wok. I am going to put in a couple of olive oil in here. I'm going to start cutting up my tofu. The best way to do this is I'm going to pop it, um, depending on whatever shape you have, but I'm going to cut it in half, lengthways, and then back on the angle. I'm just going to make little cubes. Uh, it, doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter the size, big, small. I like it kind of medium. And then back on the angle, cut down like so. So now my tofu is done. I can turn it straight into my pan. Like this. While the tofu is cooking, we just need to give it a stir. We're now going to prepare the vegetables. We have carrots, broccoli, uh, onion. You can use red onion or you can use a white onion. And we have some capsicum or peppers. Uh, and so we're just going to cut these up. Oh, and don't forget the garlic. And the garlic as well. Start with my garlic. You can set it aside. And I'm getting onto my peppers or my capsicum. I'm just gonna make uh, strips like so, and then back on the other angle, make little cubes. You really cut them however you like. You can actually keep them in strips if you want to. Perfect on that. Beautiful. Some little bowl, and you can use any color you like: red, green, yellow, orange. That's done. I can go to the side. Now we can work on our carrots. My rice is coming to a boil. I can turn that down a little too low. And we'll get my tofu a stir. So I start the golden up over here. Beautiful. I got to fill the carrots. Depending on the size of your carrots, is how many you can use. I think the book says two, but these are quite small carrots. There you go. Scrap bowl. Top. Tail. And doing things like that can save a lot of time. Like we do multiple, cut multiple things at once. I'm going to cut these in half. And then we're just going to line them all up. Put them into a dice. You can make them into the diamonds like I described in the book, or you can cut up nice and small like this. Either way, just faster doing it like this. Here we go. And then that's done. I'll put the carrots in with the uh, with the garlic. The carrots will cook. The carrots take the longest, along with the broccoli. I think my tofu is almost done over here. It's drying up nice. Okay, so my broccoli, I'm just gonna cut the bottoms off these. I like to use the stalk. And I'm just going to do the same thing I do to the carrot. So down the middle, half and half again. And then we're just going to cut back on the angle. I don't know why people throw it away. It's kind of like green, it's like, green, it's like a green carrot. And then we're going to make the, uh, the florets as uh, small as possible so that they cook better, cook more even, and they're not like super crunchy. 
So this recipe is actually even faster if there's no tofu, because then you would just go straight in with the vegetables. But we have heaps of time, and we're gonna add a little bit extra protein to this meal. So the tofu is looking nice. Very good, I actually forgot about the, uh, the uh, onion over here. And we're gonna change cars on the camera. So we're running out of cars, we're running out of uh, battery in the camera. Well, it's longer than I thought. It took me a good couple of minutes to actually fix the camera problem. We're back. Uh, now I'm going to take the tofu out of the pan. Okay, now we're going to go a little bit of olive oil. Beautiful. So we're going with the garlic and carrots, like so, and even a little bit of the broccoli. Actually, we can throw it all in. Doesn't really matter. It all go in. Broccoli and carrots, garlic can go in. We'll eat the uh, peppers for a little bit later. Beautiful. We're going to do half a cup of a cup of aminos. Of course, you could do soy sauce if you like, or tamarind, whatever you like. Uh, if you're gluten free, then you need to use aminos or tamarind. If you're soy free, then you need to use aminos. Or if you don't really care, you can use soy sauce. I'm totally up to you. But I like cooking on aminos. So we're going to grab um, half a cup of this. And we're going to start ready to go in. I don't know why I keep forgetting about this onion right here. Uh, today we're going to be using the red onion. This one I already, uh, already had um, half in the fridge. Okay, in with this onion, in with the peppers. This is how I cook on a normal day when the camera's aren't on. This is like a different style of video. Normally I kind of like move the camera and jump cut and stuff. So let me show you how I really do it. As you can see the colors are super nice. And they fries coming together real nice. This pan is really hot. That's why it's cranked up the far as it can go. Super hot, this is all cooking really well together. We're going to chuck in the aminos and the soy sauce. Beautiful. At this point, you can add the tofu back in if you like. Uh, I'm just going to sprinkle it on top at the end just to make the thumbnail look a bit better. And the rice over here is basically done. And then that's going to be it. I like to leave the vegetables because it's meal prep not fully cooked. Because if it's fully cooked now, when you're going to reheat it, then it's going to get mushy, right? So I like to leave it just underdone, like al dente. I feel like you would do pasta underdone. So when it comes to reheating the reheating it, it's going to be perfect. So now I'm just going to turn that off. That's done. Tofu is done. And the rice is, I mean, you can see the rice. The rice is... Ooh, and the rice is done. And there you go, the clock says, boom, 4.02. So I had two minute, two minute delay with the, uh, with the camera over there, but we have this beautiful stir fry. Look at this. Now I'm just gonna add one cup of rice to each container. And we add in the veggies. And then we're gonna put on the tofu. Totally optional, but sesame seeds can go on there. You know, make it a little bit fancier. And then I like to finish up with some chili flakes. Toss that on there. Look at that. Beautiful. Totally optional. Easy as that, guys. Look at that. And I have six meals for the week. Uh, this comes from a book. I just kind of like alternated a little bit. If you guys don't have the book, check the link in the description to grab uh, the plant based meal prep, meal prep book. Also, Healthy Meal Prep is in there as well. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, guys, if you're not following us already. Uh, Steph and Adam Official for all of our uh, Steph and Adam and Sophie um, personal account. There's also the Fit Couple Cooks account where you guys can repost your food. We repost your food and then post our food on there. That's our food account. And so, yeah, I hope you have a great week, guys. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're prepping this week. And I'll catch you guys next time. Namaste. Look who just came home. Hi, Soph. Say hi guys! Say hi! Go waving your hi! Say hi! Look at you right there! So Daddy, the new outfit we bought him for you. <gasps> oh, it's cutie patooties! Oh my goodness, look at this! It's got a koala on it! <gasps> yes, there you go! Who's that over there? Who's that? Yes, smiling. Go wave it! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Say bye-bye! Mm -hmm. bye -bye. What? Bye-bye! No, don't play. Yeah, with that face! Oh, there's a wave! <laughs> That's a light, yeah, light. Wave to them, They're right there in the camera. Look, right there. She look down the camera and say hi, guys. Ooh, yes, pointing. Wow. Yes. Is that exciting? Yes. Yes. You make your own food video soon. Cook your own food. Okay.
Bye, guys.